today I want to compare two little cameras, the Kodak Hawkeye Brownie and the Agfa Clack. They are both little plastic boxes. They both take 120 film. They both have hardly any settings and they can both be quite easily found between 10 and 30 US dollars. But they also both have quite important differences. So let's load up some Acros 100 and get into it. First off is the Agfa Clack. I'm gonna take off the whole bottom piece of the camera. And the first thing you'll notice is the massive frame here. The Clack takes six by nines and they use a curved design to maximize the sharpness throughout the whole photo. It readily takes 120 film, so that's easy. And it has three aperture settings, a sunny day, a cloudy day, and a close-up lens, which are just different size holes in the front here. and it's got a lovely little handle. The Brownie Hawkeye is a little bit more annoying. You see, Kodak were all about making sure people only use their film. Load with Kodak 620 film. It says right here, this camera does not take 120 film, which is kind of true, but also kind of not true. See, this here is where you put in your film. Normally, there's a little piece of metal there which stops this going too far out. And as 120 spools are longer than 620, it's normally impossible to do that. But if you bend that piece of metal in, then that works fine. It's a bit snug, but it fits. The problem comes from the take-up spool because this actually hits the wall directly it's impossible to fit a 120 roll in here. So you have to use a 620 as the take-up spool. So if you're shopping around for one of these in a garage sale or whatever, make sure you find one that's got the original 620 take-up spool in it. Or you can adapt a 120 roll to fit, but it's a bit more effort. And make sure if a lab is developing it, tell them to send you this spool back when they're finished. All right, we're all loaded up. Let's go outside. major difference you'll see is that the Hawkeye Browning has a waist level viewfinder, a really nice, super bright waist level viewfinder. Whereas the Agfa Clack has this absolutely tiny little situation here. So totally unplanned, but I shot almost the entire roll in this single car park. 
and easily could have shot more actually. But I left one shot on each roll because I've loaded up some Acros, so I figured I should do at least one long exposure on each camera as well. Until then, I'm done here and I'll see you tonight. So the problem we have now is that the clack has a tripod mount and I brought my tripod, but the brownie doesn't. So I need to find somewhere that's really sturdy that also has an interesting composition in front of it and hope I can hold it still for the length of the exposure. For the brownie, it's this little switch here. You put it up and then you just hold down the shutter until you finish your exposure. So my light meter is saying two minutes exposure here. Well, I mean, F15 on ISO 100 makes sense, but that's gonna be a long time to hold down that bulb button. Let's get on with it. For the clack, it's a little bit more obvious. You just switch it over to B and then you're in bulb mode. Also, it's got a cloudy day option, which gives it an aperture of F10, and therefore only a 50 second exposure of this photo. But normally that would be easy because it's got a cable release port as well, but mine's broken. So once again, I will manually be holding that button down. So there you have it, definitely a fun little comparison. The most obvious thing is how hazy that brownie lens can be. But they're both fun little lo-fi cameras, and I'm sure the obvious choice is going to be quite divided between the audience. Let me know down below which one you might have used in the past, which one you preferred, or which one you'd like to use, and maybe leave a little subscribe while you're at it. Now I'm going to leave you with some hard facts about both cameras and the four extra shots that the Hawkeye gets. See you next time.